Hi, my name is Mark Belage. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. In this short video, I'm going to share with you some thoughts as to what's happening in the recruiting industry as of today, Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. The job numbers were released for Canada and the U.S. last week. In Canada, the employment rose by 246,000 jobs in August, led by, 22, led by 206,000 jobs in the full-time sector. Employment rose at a faster pace for women than men, with women accounting for 60% of the new jobs that were created. Canada has regained 1.9 million jobs of the 3 million jobs that were lost during the pandemic, specifically during March and April, where this is about 63.5%. The increase in the number of jobs indicates that Canada's economic recovery continues, but the gain suggests a slow recovery to the pre-pandemic level of employment. The unemployment rate dropped to 10.2% in August, and the unemployment rate was 10.9% in July. Ontario actually saw the greatest increase in jobs, followed by Quebec and British Columbia. Alberta, Ontario, and British Columbia are still the furthest from full recovery. Calgary has the highest unemployment rate by city in Canada at 14.4%. The education industry was the strongest as schools across the country started reopening. Accommodation and food services also had some strong gains, especially given that restaurants are now starting to slowly reopen in stage two, three, and so on. Manufacturing also had a continued steady rise but no industry has yet to recover from all the jobs that were lost during the pandemic. In the U.S., the job numbers were somewhat healthy. 1.4 million jobs were added in August. This is still down from the 1.7 million that were, de that were created in July and down sharply from the 4.8 million created in June. And payroll in the U.S. is still down by more than 11, job 11 million jobs before the pandemic. So some of the recruiting issues right now, the, uh, there's a number of companies, uh, including Twitter and Facebook, that are all hiring for or already employ a person or team whose full-time job is to ensure that remote work works. Hiring is up also. A recent survey of 500 professionals, 60% of those have hired at least one worker since the onset of the pandemic. And nearly half of companies have hired 10 or more employees in the same time period. The Canadian HR reporter found that 58% of all employers that laid off staff due to COVID-19 are now planning to rehire in the next three months. You may, be, uh, you may wanna know that the minimum wage has, is, planning, uh, is expected to increase as of October 1st. This was part of the Making Ontario Open for Business Act that was introduced by the Ford government in October of 2018. The general minimum wage will increase from $14 to $14.25 per hour, while the student minimum wage will increase from $13.15 to $13.40 per hour. So basically $0.25 cent increase per hour. This was an interesting story that came through as well. This is where the top 20 jobs or top 20 fields for male graduates as well as female graduates five years out of school. So the top three for males mining and mineral engineering. Number two was pharmacy, pharmaceutical sciences and administration. And the third one was petroleum engineering. Now, all three of those and uh, or many of the top 10 and many of the top 20 were related to engineering. On the female side, eight of the top 11 cat careers for female graduate, graduates were related to engineering. So that included number one was pharmacy, pharmaceutical services and administration. Number two, mineral and miner mining and mineral engineering. And number three was chemical engineering. These are the top jobs five years out for male and female graduates. On September 3rd, 2020, the Ontario government issued a news release in which it announced that an employer that has temporarily laid off a non-unionized employee for COVID-19 related reasons can continue to have the employee remain off work until January 2nd, 2021. That was extended from September 4th, 2020. Basically, this won't trigger termination and severance pay obligations under the Ontario Employment Standards Act. This was a poll that was done by the Ministry, uh, the Mississauga Board of Trade 
asked employers, will you give your employees the time or flexibility to care for their school-aged children starting September? 53% said, yes, I will offer the flexibility provided they can still do their work, whereas 3% said, no, they're going to have to figure it out on their own. Some of the upcoming events that you may be interested in as a recruiter or in the talent acquisition area, we have the Canadian Virtual HR Conference that happens on September 17th. We also have the Canadian Virtual Recruiters Panel that I'll be moderating on September 21st. And you might be also interested in the Canadian Virtual Recruiters Conference that happens on September 23rd. For more information about these virtual events that torontojobs.ca presents and other virtual events that we're involved with, visit torontojobs.ca slash news for more information and follow the link. Again, torontojobs.ca slash news. Some of the top candidates that our torontojobs.ca recruitment division are working on right now we have a receptionist, administrative assistant for downtown Toronto. We also are representing an IT recruiter with one year of experience in Markham. And we also have a sales representative with business to business sales experience in Oakville. If you're interested in, in any of these particular candidates, reach out to us by email at sales at torontojobs.ca or text us anytime 289-206-1651. So if you're a recruiter, three things that you might want to try this week. Make sure that your social media for your organization has all your open jobs on there. Reach out to other departments in your organizations to see how you can help them. And finally, discuss recruiting plans with your senior management for the fall, what's expected and what's planned. There's lots of changes going on in the recruiting industry right now, not just in the staffing industry, but even as a recruiter or talent acquisition individual. Thanks for watching. My name is Mark Belaish. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and you can also check out my book that I wrote called Tales from the Recruiter. It's available at talesfromtherecruiter.ca or you can check it out also at Kobo or Amazon. Also follow torontojobs.ca on all our social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And check out our YouTube channel as well, torontojobs.ca and Toronto Recruiters Conference also. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and stay safe.